My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Monster Train. We're gonna be playing the Stygian Guard with a random clan as the second again, which will uh, finally complete our unlocks of level two. Oh, it's the Hellhorn again? I just did this last episode, but I don't wanna break my streak. Hmm. I mean, frozen and random work together really well. All right, let's, let's try and do like a, a discard kind of situation instead. Merchant cost reduced by 25% this early on. Ooh, you best believe I want that. Uh, strike to apply a frostbite five to the selected unit. Honestly, the sweep was not really what we used last time. So maybe we actually use it this time. As in like the spell weakness it applied was not really part of our builds. Normal enemy is getting plus four damage. You're gonna have four damage. You're gonna have eight. Ah, Titan's gratitude. It's enough to take out a disciple protected by itself. That's enough for me. That's enough for me. But yes, at the end of this, we should uh, quite likely. One sec. Figuring out what I'm doing here. Definitely those, now just, I think I Tethys on this floor, so I can defend it next turn. Mm. Defend with a double train steward. Then get a Cuddle Hex on the top floor, so I start freezing cards. Or do I torch this? Next hand has... Oh, no, if I use the Cuddle Hex, I'll be able to keep one of those two cards. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Cuddle Hex. But I, I, uh, at the end of this, I should have level 10 on my clan. Should be a significant upgrade for us. Um, fine. And then I can start worrying about going through the Covenant levels. That card's already frozen, so it'll stay frozen regardless, so... The second frozen card. Weakness there. Nice. Hmm. Do five damage to enemy units and apply a frostbite ten. So that's everything on that floor. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, that fortify does look good, but I just I just got out of it. Uh, the build that I just used didn't really use like it used fortifies at the start, but then it became a non-fortify deck pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna take it because we still do need a frontline unit. No, I'm taking the lodestone tome and uh, I'm not. I'm hmm, lodestone tome good. I'm gonna sap the hell out of my enemy units. So I'm sapping a, so instead of being a, uh, a an incant spell deck here, which was last run, I'm gonna be a sap discard deck. That's different, right? <laughs> That's it's like a little different at least. Please, please tell me it's different. Uh, let's go for a stitching. Sweep with spell weakness. Hmm. I don't think I want that. Health? No. I'm gonna reroll looking for health again. There we go. Health on the lodestone. Because I'm gonna be using this as the frontline unit for a while here. Like maybe I give it endless. 
Yeah, I now have a lodestone tank. It's not how I planned to do anything here, but fine. Uh, start of each battle, enemy units superior on each floor. That's not a problem as long as we get Tethys in the We get Tethys and Lodestone reliably in the opening hand because the Cuddle Hex is a mage, so it's considered a spell. Similar to how Imps and Channelers are considered spells. Stone. Yes. So, put the cuddle hex here as well. Rose and Lance, weaken everyone a lot. I mean, it's a good tank. Say that, definitely. It's a very good tank. Don't like that I had to set up on a high floor, so these reconcilers are going to put a bunch of stuff into my deck, but not, I can, not really much I can do about that right now. Let's quickly ascend you so that you die. Excellent. More money for me. Yes, money for Gavlan. Uh, it's... Phew. Oh, gratitude. And then a... You know what? Screw it. Clear the floor. Freezes the other card in hand. Keep it for the next turn. Honestly, this freezing thing, that's really powerful. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like really good. Uh, like ridiculously good. Okay. Um, one more. Frozen Lance. Frozen Lance. Torch. Actually, I probably should have torched you. Because, yeah, you're going to go to the top and then just get killed by the Pyre. Maybe this is the run where I run Pyre Bound stuff as well. I could do that. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what the run is. Because we'll freeze the Pyre Bound stuff and keep it in hand. We'll actually be able to utilize it. Uh, that sounds good to me. You come onto this wall so you die faster. And... Kill him anyway. Okay. Unfortunately, like the uh, the the spikes here are awful for us because they actually do invalidate a lot of my stuff. But it's not going to do much damage to my Pyre. Oh, no, wait, it will! Oh, right! Because it had more rounds of combat for the Sap. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I thought the Sap was still going to be on it by that point. Of course it wasn't going to be. Uh, Flash Freeze, Energy Siphon, Helical Crystals. I do want cheap spells that I can cast so that I can get more Encantries off. And it's good setup for a, a Titan's Gratitude as well. Sure. Another Fortify for the same reason, as well as good defense. Honestly, I'm probably going Merchant of Magic here anyway, right? Or am I? I am. Yeah, so the 20 health I lost wasn't really anything. Double stack. That's interesting. 20 frostbite on a target? On all targets on that floor. Mind. Give that hold over and get some offering and we have uh, we have a run going. Mm. I don't know about these. They'll get stuck in our hand often. I can't I can't take any blights here, I don't think. Not the right deck for that. Our hand management is more important. Overfrost. Oh, 
permafrost on Titan's Tooth just means that I, you know, it always gets frozen in hand. Which means it's always there as a good discard target, so I don't have to... Do uh, okay, sure, let's permafrost it. I want an offering token now. I would really, really like an offering token. Those Titan Gratitudes aren't ultimately what I'm going to want to have in the deck, so I'm not really going to upgrade them here, I don't think. Yeah, mistake. Those Titan Gratitude discarding a card at random is a little bit of an annoyance because it means that, like, especially because I'm holding cards with the Frozen, uh, until I have more offering cards in the deck, they're not commonly going to trigger their offering effect. Stone. Torch to sap everyone. Tap us there. As much as I want to put the Cuddle Hex down, this is a lot of damage saved. One. The one I wanted to hit, but that's okay. Taking much damage at all. Maybe I should have just set up back on the top four again. Yeah, I feel like I probably should have set up on the top four again. That's my bad. Well, now we know better for next time. Pretty much always going to be the refrain I sit with because pretty much always true. Just gotta know better for next time, you know? Nice. So this uh, this unit is gonna die to its frostbite before it's a problem for us now. Defend you. Poison Lance. Titan's Gratitude. Please don't discard Titan's Gratitude. Why are you like this? That Lodestone's gonna have a hard time now. And so are we. There's all the spell weakness. More spell weakness on you. Oh, I have the Lodestone Totem. I should have done it first. Honestly, I think, like, the best thing I can do here is, uh... Like... Totem there. Train Steward, Train Steward here. Keep the spells for the next turn. Try and cast as many spells as I can here and stack as much uh, sap on you as possible. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's about how that one should have gone. So, setting up on the top floor versus setting up on the bottom floor there. Would it have saved us to set up on the top floor? I think I was trying to do too many things with the Titan Sooth trying to like Titan Sooth getting that frostbite off would have been great. Uh, but Titan Sooth was obviously going to have a lot of difficulty getting that frostbite off with the undirected discard of the Titan's gratitude. So. Picking up a offering token in the position where I instead picked up 
they pick up instead of the offering token? Hmm. I don't even remember the pickup that I made instead of the offering token, but getting the offering token would have been a good idea. Of course, I didn't have, you know, permafrost on the Titan's tooth at that point, but I definitely still did have the, the Cuddle Hex freezing cards for me. Obviously, the Lodestone idea of stacking a bunch of sap on a target seems good, but especially if the Lodestone is healthy and getting armored consistently, then even putting a bunch of sap on the boss doesn't really help you because it just burns through all of that sap as it tries to kill the Lodestone, and then it goes to the top floor and it kills your pyre anyway. Okay. I honestly think after Daedalus, we would have been able to write the ship there. It would have taken like a couple more upgrades and maybe one more spell to have that actually work off differently. The Tethys that gives Frostbite as well as a different unit providing sweep would have also been an interesting way to approach that. So let's try another one. It's still gotta be stingy in first. Don't you dare give me Hellhorn to your head. I killed that run trying to make sure that I didn't have the same run as I had last run. Okay, cool. Uh, this is a Woken. Uh, the Great Trader is also going to devour our spells. Interesting. So Incant triggers plus uh, stings. Something comes to mind immediately. Incant abilities trigger an additional time. Okay, you can't, you can't not. You have to. Uh, broadly, I think the handheld totem Tethys is better than Chilwin, to uh, Chilwin Tethys. Just for the sweep, frankly. Chilwind is good at killing bosses though. We'll definitely say that. It's very good at killing bosses. I have frontline units. It's fine. You can take five there. Okay. Let me see what Frozen Lance. Frozen Lance is good enough. So Lance. There's two restores left in the deck. Great hits though. Cool. We've also got an unnamed home here to apply silence to a unit, which prevents their triggered abilities. So this should prevent the chains from putting the Self mutilations top my deck. I'm gonna cast that so I now have the ability to actually target chains with spells in future turns, specifically next turn. well in the ends and we get our money for free no no that's not what we're doing you tried to make me do that remember and then we decided not to do this sting it's like extremely obviously sting Need a minion with an encant. Oh. Give me a minion with an encant trigger. Okay, a Stygian there, possibly even a duplication on the Stygian. These helical crystals really want upgrades. Holdover? 
on Sting, maybe? <laughs> I can do that. So it's just a free and can't trigger as well as five damage to the front line every turn. Do us. Let's reduce the cost of one of the helical crystals and then reroll. Double stack. No, double stack for one extra regen, isn't that great? Uh, and then I'll reduce the cost of a different helical crystal. Same kind of base I had for the other one, but we're going to go a different direction with it. It's going to have different kind of payoffs, ideally. Uh, not most enemies gain plus four damage. The reconcilers are a little bit annoying with that. Reconcilers are pretty annoying with that. Yeah, because we don't have a frontline unit yet, this is really annoying, but I'm still going to take it because getting a unit draft to find an incant uh, trigger unit is very important to me. To the point that I will willingly take damage in order to get it. Crystals there in the deck. Yeah, didn't find it. So this is a decent amount of HP there. Frozen Lance. You definitely need to go there. This needs to go on the bottom floor. I think I just take six damage to you, frankly. It's the best way to handle that. Not being able to kill the backline unit here is really rough the enemy a lot of power. And... Oh, wow. You actually prevented me from drawing helical crystals again. That's annoying. Oh, well done. So I took 11 damage there in order to get a unit. I'm not sad about it. I'm not sad about it. I'd probably do it again, to be honest. Am I frozen to a card in your hand? Uh, I don't know if I need that. In fact, I don't know if I need any of these. Sting again. Thank you. Really? It grows twice as fast as it says on that card right now, so I have to do it. I don't want to kill this run as well because I'm just trying not to be the last run. So I'm just going to make this run go where it goes. If it goes in the same direction and like... It looks like it's doing that. I'm just going to follow it there. I, I don't want to end up with another loss just because I was trying to eschew the idea of playing the clan in the same way. Merchant of Magic is fine here. Not great, but fine. Let's go over here, get another Sidian unit, look for another Incant trigger. Incant gain three arm up. That's a huge minion force. Fine. Speaking of a huge unit. I might not actually want to make something 
Yeah, I might want to make something one smaller instead of a major reflection. So the reason I would do that is because there are a lot of... It, the more units that have encant triggers that I can put on the same floor to trigger all of them at the same time, the far better off we're going to be. And making them large, either of my encants here, is just really going to prevent me from putting other encants on the same floor. And armor six. So now I'm looking for the the stones that ooh, ooh get a second copy of you. No, I think I go with another copy of the hold up sting. Yeah, because the the armor on the front liner is gonna be so big that I don't really need to care about any other ones. Good. So you get six armor out of this, 15 health. Yeah, fine, we're fine. Really? I miscalculated that. I was certain that we were going to be uh, living effectively with that unit. Fifteen, five, 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 ten. Oh yeah, no, I guess take that out. Still take one damage. These each deal one damage as well, so three extra damage on top of that. Eighteen, twenty-eight. Removing. Five from the board, 23. Gaining the extra is 21. Yeah, so we were just off of living with that. Cool. Let's go. Should we set up on no, we shouldn't set up on the top floor. We need time for the uh, Daedalus to take a bunch of spell damage and then get nuked afterwards. bomb. Uh, and then we'll sacrifice both train suits down there happily. Yeah, second floor is definitely the right choice. Alright. Two stings. It's going to be two stings after the helical crystals, but I accidentally clicked for the helical crystals before the stings. Oops. I mean, it doesn't really matter. All of them get removed, and I'm still casting all of my spells on this floor anyway. I really want to replace the the siren of the sea as quickly as possible with just like a bunch of stones that have powers sounds way better overall for us hmm. good thing we have the sweeper and the tethers honestly tethers should probably be getting the buffs yeah yeah tethers should be getting the buffs we'll do that from now on Crystals. Blow all of them up easily. And then we have just ridiculous armor on our front line. And you can't do anything about it. Wait a second. Oh, you yeah. Extinguish, deal one damage on death. I, I was wondering, like, is your bomb like a resolve ability? But it's not. Encant stacking is uh, pretty good, as it turns out. Especially when the encant stacking provides you with as much armor as we're getting. Or as we got in the other run. Uh, really? We got that last time as well. Putting quick on the death. This is good, though. 
No, I don't need any of these. Extra draw. Uh, maybe extra energy. No, we'll go extra draw because we might actually get the Tethys upgrade that lowers spell damage. I'm not trying to pivot into it. It's just... It keeps coming to me. I mean, I wish I could take both of these. I'll take this one just in case units happen to get past me, though. Resolve out a sting spell to your hand. Set that up on the top floor. Sure. That sounds good. Uh, start getting some train suits. Honestly, like, the restores don't mean much except for my... Uh, except for when we sweep against spiked units. But the train sewers mean nothing to me. And damage spells on this floor cost negative one. All right. Start of each battle, enemy units be on each floor. Hmm, that is annoying actually, but not a problem. So all of these sycophants are going to go up to the top floor and then die to the vapor funnel before they do any damage to me. So I just set up on the bottom floor. Without a problem. Without a care in the world. Goodbye. Yeah, just an uh, extra 150 for free. well okay so I'm gonna see you get the hang on nope target Tethys with the quick Vine Mother can now go on the second floor because nothing's getting there. when I say nothing is getting there what I mean is uh something is definitely going up there but it's not gonna kill it If I silence your triggered ability, I also silence your, uh, your gain gold on death or give gold on death. Bye. Bye. Not having any directed damage is gonna cost us a couple collectors over the course of the run, definitely. Now we're starting to get a decent amount of these triggers off. Let's just sting every turn. We're drawing nine cards a turn and we have a frozen card in hand. I probably should have spent that then. Yeah, I'm going to draw five extra cards next to... Oh, yeah, we now officially have too many stings. Specifically, we have too many stings with Holdover as well. heavily limit our ability to get other stuff. Okay. Just casting all these spells on this floor. And throw away the train seal on the top floor. We should just be able to press E and wait for the win here as well. Yeah, there we go. Too much armor. Too much armor. In can apply Frostbite 2 to all enemy units. Seems a hilarious way to deal a bunch of damage here. Is it? Nah, I was asking for totems. I can't see a totem and then go, well, not this totem. Preserve Thorns is like a lot of spells cast on the same turn for zero energy. Minion upgrades. Honestly, like... Multi-Strike on the Siren of the Sea would be nice. But honestly, I don't want that Siren of the Sea ultimately to be part of my builds. Just want other... other... incant triggers. Go over this way. Spell holdover. Oh. 
Honestly, hold over to have helical crystals every single turn seems good. Upgrading the other helical crystals for more damage seems good. Lowering the cost of steel in No, steel in will ultimately end up getting removed from the deck. I'm going to lower the cost of this, uh, the Wildwood Tome. And let's remove two train stewards, definitely. Take the Pyre Hell. Actually, we're also going to reroll this, see what we get. Consume removal, plus one to cost. I'm going to just try and use stings to trigger my incants. That's my whole thing. Plus 10 magic power also goes on Helical Crystal if we can get it. No, but there's a sting that holds over, plus 10. Now I'm looking for the sting relics. That's like it at this point. Give me the sting relics. Seriously, game, no, please give me the sting relics. Should be fine. Gonna put a lot of frostbite in up. all of them before they do anything. Guess I have to throw one sting on that line. Start with the helical crystals. Wait. Yeah, the Clipped Guardian's always getting past there. cast as many spells as I can afford to. That's a Helical Crystals target now there. Thankfully we hold over a Helical Crystal, so we will always have one available to do that. And now everyone gets Infinite Frostbite. Hope you enjoy your Infinite Frostbite. Honestly, if the stings get their costs increased as well, Tethys re-decreases it. It's great. Feeling uh, sad about the uh, the Herzl's compound at this point because we are easily drawing more than we need every turn. take 36 damage and then 35 damage and then 34 damage and then go up to the top floor take 33 damage but you're gonna die before any of that happens Aww. throw the ones that have holdover until they draw 10 cards next turn Where's the boss Throw that away. I don't think I need it. Does the boss have a triggered ability? Let's see. It does not. But it does have sweet. That's kind of annoying. Like, it's not annoying enough to be a problem. It's just a little annoying, you know? Just let me cast all my spells here, please. This much frostbite isn't necessary. <laughs> so overkill. <laughs> All right. Um, mollusk mate. No, don't want any of those. No, thank you. Not even a cuddle hex. I already draw too many cards. Don't care about any of those either. Just the sting relics, as I said before. Those restores probably need to go. What would 
that dupe though? Preserved thorns. There's way too many stings. Another glacial seals. Don't even take this siren of the sea. I like that a lot. Oh, I like that a lot. Bye, siren of the sea. Don't want you anymore. Store out of there as well. Hellbent. Get another glacial seal. Okay. I like it. So now my opening hand is guaranteed... Uh, removing the Siren of the Sea, by the way, did actually have a purpose. In the opening hand, I'm guaranteed to draw my champion and then my first... Uh, not my first unit, but a unit. Uh, and these totems count not as units, but as... Uh, not units. They count as like... They kind of count as pseudo spells, as I mentioned with the mages earlier. So I'm guaranteed to always get the... Uh, unnamed in my opening hand. No, not while I have the Vine Mother. I might need to remove the Vine Mother as well. I do have a lot of Sting Generation already in this deck, so I could totally remove the Vine Mother without needing to worry at all. Clipped Reflector is going to be fine as long as we get the uh, Glacial Seals out, I think. Actually, you know what? I'm going to silence the Clipped Reflector here so it doesn't do anything for the first one. we go. Starting to get the Frostbite stacking on you as well. Love it. Oh, sorry. Glacial Seal. Forgot to get that one down. And sting. Gain. Gain. Yes, I'm giving you armor, but I'm also stacking a lot of Frostbite on you, which will guarantee that you die. I feel like this deck is now sufficiently different. I wish I could resolve all of these faster though, because a large amount of this is just going to be me spam casting constantly here. I wish the encant triggers like wouldn't block me from playing other stuff. Is there any like, settings like combat preview, scroll, no, don't care, don't care. Tutorial, no, side effect, that's... Nah, Nothing there seems like it would affect this. Okay. Oh, this is so many incant triggers. Good lord, this is so many. Look at the boss's stacks of frozen there. If I get a whole frost in this, I'm going to take it. Because we'll be able to kill the Seraph on turn two, maybe. Against the Seraph the Diligent, I just burn a sting every turn. Whatever, like I care. I've got so many of them. The rest is just press one, click the middle of the screen until we get them all. I still need to cast all of the stings as the thing. And I want to cast as many of the rest of them as possible so I get the incant triggers for the defense there. But I want to cast as many stings as possible in particular so that I get the extra 10 draw or the full 10 draw. And then still, I kind of just want the armor number to get high, you know? Come on, final round. Come down. Attack myself. There we go. That wasn't that hard, was it? <sighs> Perfect. Mm -mm. 
Don't need the spreading spores. Same issue as last time. Also don't need the spikes. Oh my god, capacity. Just in case I find two more totems I want to put on that same floor. Who knows, maybe. Okay, we obviously need to go over here first. Because of... Spells gain an extra upgrade slot is actually a little bit appealing, but uh, is it? No, I don't need that. No, not at all. Enemy center with a frostbite too. I mean, that's like one spell cast for me. Grant plus two stacks of frostbite each time it's applied. Frostbite doesn't de uh, decay. That's pretty good. I was looking for the uh, the sting relics, but I'll take that. Next area also has a merchant of trinkets for which I will save my money. So no weakness two. Passing up the HP because I don't need it. Uh, start a battle enemy is appear on each floor. Those units do go to the top and then die, but the problem is the, uh, these units have extinguished, deal five damage to the front enemy unit on their death. Uh, so that's actually annoyance. I do have like a decent amount of money, so maybe I don't need to take this, but at the same rate, if I just accept taking 40 pyre health here, I get 300 gold. And it may not even be 40. Depends on what spells we get here as well. With, with decent stings, it might be zero. Let's make you all do no trigger ability so you won't deal any damage. Then... Tethys, Guardian, obviously held the crystals on this floor. What with the Gilded Wing? Hold over, we'll give you a quick strike. Okay, so we're gonna take five damage on the top floor. For everything we did, we will take five damage on the top floor. That's fine. Hey, finally, Glacial Shield. Decided to show up. That one's going to be an annoyance, actually. Actually, no, I have another Helical next turn. It's fine. That hel this Helical by itself kills you. Go, second glacial seal. The held over helical blows you up. That one blows you up, and then it's just cast spells until we win. So I took five damage ultimately in order to get 300 gold here. Pretty pleased with that. Pretty damn pleased with that, I gotta say. Another Helical Crystals before we just spam out Frozen Lances and Stings. This Preserve Thorns is so many extra costs for it, uh, for us, especially in the first cycle. It's real good. That's a lot of Frostbite! Getting almost 100 there. Just casually. And now sting until it is done. With this amount of armor, we might already have the win before we cast anything here. We don't. Ooh, okay. Spicy. Love to see that. Now I actually have to cast some stuff. Oh, we already won. Dang it. And now, not only do I win, but I keep everyone alive. Goodbye, boss. Thank you.
gonna give you the money. Uh, <laughs> oh, Frost G. All right. I said I'd take it. I'll take it. Uh, draw three extra next turn. No, we don't need that at all. We already draw way too much every turn. Like, we already draw a problematic amount each turn. Dupe. Do I want to get another Glacial Seal? Do I really want to do that to myself? Or do I care about going to a Merchant of Magic more than that? Nope. I don't. In can't gain one armor. Put that on the Guardian and the names. Sounds good. Turn Frozen cards, reduce to zero, Jack Strips, and Concussive Calls. I mean, I could take the Concussive Calls, but honestly, like, after the start of the first round, like, it no longer matters. But I guess it's fine. I'll take it. Stop! I wanted the Sting Relics! Uh, none of this is useful at all, even slightly for me. I'll gain plus 40 on the Pyre, I guess. Let's go. I mean, I'm going to give it to a Glacial Seal just in case the enemy has any sweepers. Then I'm going to re-roll looking for more defense just in case. Yeah, nice. Then we'll dupe one of the ones that has the double encant triggers there. Get some more money. Go to a shop and goodbye, Vine Mother. Then goodbye to the restores. Actually, also the steel enhancers, if I can get the rest. Uh, I'll probably move them out in equal. Uh, not equal. It's fine. You get one restore out of that, uh, one steel enhancer out of that, rather. Great. First spell card played each turn gets consumed. Cool. No huge problem. Oh my god. I have all of my minions on turn one. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Will set up on floor on the top floors. That's no, that's fine. They go to the top floor and they die to the light of uh, the funnel. It's uh, totally okay. In fact, even this one dies to the funnel, the Gilded Wing, although it'll already die to the other effects before it gets there. Come on, Seraph. Come down to play, yay. Eh? That's where you want to be, Seraph. Burn those out. Intentionally burn out the Frozen Lance. Served. Sting, sting, sting. One more, and nine hundred and ninety-nine frostbite. The seraph now dies next time. Good fight. Good fight right there. Uh, I. That could not have been more polar opposite of a, of a success or of, of a run, rather, than the first run in this video. But yeah, as soon as I saw that relic, I kind of just knew the whole direction, especially based on the, the clan and the, uh, the allied. Stygian now gets the Ancient Synergy. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to two times the number of spells in your deck. 
three times. Huh. That's probably like one of the first things I've seen that actually rewards you for building a bigger deck. I wonder if it's enough. There we go. Stygian's finally won. Uh, in fact, Stygian has won with every other clan. I might start looking to start specifically running the ones that I haven't gotten dual clan victories on yet. But for the moment, let's get back to the run summary so that I can say that my name is Raps and give the name of the game. Has been Monster Train. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my contents of the game past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.